I just got finished watching Malignant, and oh man, I really like this film. That's what we're going to be talking about here today on... What's your favorite scary movie? I told you not to hang up on me. I am a huge James Wan fan. I have been a fan of him dating all the way back to Saw. In fact, he's probably one of my most favorite horror directors other than Wes Craven. So when I went in to see this Malignant movie, I had full expectations that this was going to be a really good film. And whoa, man, this movie blew my mind. Now keep in mind, this movie is not gonna be for everyone, and I'm gonna get into more what I'm gonna get into what I mean more about that. Now, when I first seen the trailer for Malignant, the trailer really puts it out to be this paranormal murder mystery film. So, but when you go into this movie, it is something completely different. So you watch this trailer, you get one vision of what this movie is gonna be about, and then you go into the movie and it just and it, okay. That's a little different here, but all right. With all that being said, I think the trailer is a little misleading, but I almost feel like James Wan did that on purpose. In fact, there's a lot of things in this movie that you might question that I feel like James Wan did on purpose. Now, first, I'm gonna get into my non-spoiler review, and then halfway through the movie, I'm gonna talk some spoilers here. I'll put it up on the screen so you don't gotta worry. So if you haven't seen this movie, just watch the, the spoiler-free part of the review, and then if you have seen this movie, just keep watching the whole video. Now, when you're first going into this movie, the first act really puts itself out there to be like a paranormal movie. It really feels like James Wan. I felt like it had like a lot of insidious vibes to it. In fact, there is a pretty big insidious Easter egg, but it just had that signature James Wan shooting style. It felt a lot like a James Wan horror film. And if you guys fuck with James Wan movies, y'all know like Insidious and Conjuring, a lot of people get these two movies confused because they just feel so similar. That is just about, that's just with James Wan. It's paranormal movies, they're just, they're amazing. I love them. Now, I actually wrote a little review on my phone after I was done watching the movie, so I'm going to read this out to you guys, and then I'm going to, like, expand on some of the things I said. So I said, okay, just finished Malignant. It was refreshing. It was different, and it was not something that we had seen before. Not something I want to expand on really quick. It is definitely not something we'd seen before. This is a very refreshing movie, very unique plot. In fact, the first act, like I said, feels like a classic James Wan paranormal movie, and it really gets you into it. You get invested in it. The plot seems very interesting. What's happening around is very interesting. Um, I'm gonna continue now. Uh, it's not something we'd seen before and I had James Wan's signature style of shooting and sound design That is something I want to get into really quickly This movie in my opinion had insidious vibes from the very beginning. It felt like insidious In fact, like I said, there's a very big um, insidious Easter egg that was kind of hard to miss um if asked to describe this movie, I'd say it's a gory, silly, entertaining horror homage to 80s and 90s horror. Now, this is what I mean by this movie is not going to be for everybody. There is so many things in this movie that is just kind of silly. There's things in the movie that will make you laugh. There's stuff that characters will do in the movie that you will kind of chuckle at, but it doesn't put itself out there to be like a classic horror comedy like The Babysitter, for example. It does try to take itself seriously, but there's stuff in the movie that is purposely done to make you laugh but at the same time it's still taking itself seriously so there might be something happening and there's crazy suspenseful music going on but they purposely made what is happening a little funny and you might chuckle even though it's taking itself completely seriously now this is definitely one of the best horror movies i've seen this year in my opinion due to how refreshing of a story it was 10 out of 10 recommend the splice between paranormal and slasher is effing perfect yes paranormal and slasher spliced together in this movie it, it is amazing. I really, really liked it. And if you guys are a slasher fan and you also like Paranormal movie, they literally splice together slasher and paranormal. Now, a lot of people are describing this movie as through the first half of the movie, it feels like a paranormal movie. And then through the second half, it feels like this murder mystery. And then the last half, you're like, what the fuck? Like, yeah, that's pretty much how it is. That's the best way I could describe this movie is it's that's what I say. Another reason a lot of people might not like this movie is it just the vibes change. It starts off feeling like a classic James Wan paranormal movie. Halfway through, it starts to feel like a murder mystery type movie. And then at the end, everything makes sense. And it's got this huge twist. So like I said, multiple twists. The big twist is just mind blowing. And there is so much homage to 80s and 90s horror. James Wan you were a goat, man. He really just did a lot of homage to like 80s horror movies, 90s horror movies, and it, and it really, it came out well in my opinion. A lot of people don't like that. A lot of people I've been seeing online, they don't like this movie. I don't think a lot of people are as invested in horror movies like us horror fans, and I think us horror fans can look at this movie and see the amount of work in it, the uniqueness, the, uh, the freshness, and just see the homage to what they're doing here and what James had in mind and you can respect that and appreciate it. at least I do and I think that it's just a brilliant piece of art I look at movies like art 
Um, there's so much homage to 80s, 90s horror is what I said. The movie isn't essentially scary. Um, the, yes, this movie is definitely not essentially scary. Like, the thing about it is a lot of people want crappy jump scares, but... And, and a lot of times we've gotten these fil filtered out jump scares where we just know they're coming at this point. I mean, Insidious, the last key got me with that suitcase scene. I'll admit it, that shit got me. That, that was a new, that was a fresh one. It was like a, almost a delayed one. It, I think it was like a delayed jump scare. But a lot of times people want these like, these jump scares and jump scares are not everything to a horror movie. Jump scares, yeah, they get you to jump. But when you get them so much, there's a point where jump scares just become dull. So the movie isn't essentially scary, but if you're patient, this movie delivers the kind of hilarious sick climax that only a sadist would spoil. The climax in this movie, the twist, it's just unbelievable. And oh my God, the gore horror, I love it. The, if you guys have seen the movie, you guys know what I'm talking about, the gore horror, oh. It was brilliant. That twist is just amazing. But this is not your good old-fashioned slasher horror film. This movie isn't another in a long line of amazing scary movies, but James also hasn't gotten tired or scared of trying new things. Like I said in this review, people always want crappy jump scares that are cheap, but this film shows there is so much more to horror than jump scares. Like I said, this movie is a um, really, really, really good movie. If you're a slasher fan, you like paranormal and you like slasher, they almost splice them together. It's really amazing. Um, if you can get through the fact that it feels a little different at times, like it starts off feeling like a paranormal and then it feels like a slasher murder mystery, but it connects at the end. That's the big thing, guys, you need to understand is halfway through this movie, you might be like, What's going on in this? This is a, uh, this is like, huh, huh, what? But then it gets to a point where everything just connects. It makes sense and it's really, really good. Now we're gonna get into some spoiler talk here. So if you guys have not seen this movie, shut this off now, go watch the movie and then come back to this exact part in the video and watch the spoiler review. So let's get into some spoilers here. So this movie is about a woman who basically, as you guys know, had a parasite um, what are they called? Uh, a parasitic twin attached to her. So this parasitic twin is named Gabriel. And as we all know in the movie, they basically put Gabriel in her head and Gabriel went to, or Gabriel went pretty much was like, I, I don't know if it was like hibernating or sleeping. I can't, I, I'm really tired. I just woke up. If y'all got want to correct me in the words in the comments, you can. Um, but as you know, his, he was dormant is the word dormant. I fucking got it dormant. He was dormant. But anyways, um, and, and our main character is dealing with this abusive boyfriend and when the abusive boyfriend slams her head into the wall It awakens Gabriel and these um, the things that when she was a kid start happening again Now that is something it, again. It was refreshing. It got people really interested into this film But as soon as the murders and such started happening the movie went from feeling like this James Wan horror film And it immediately turned into like as soon as the first premonition happened or premonition as soon as the first premonition happened it completely changed from feeling like this paranormal movie into feeling like this slasher paranormal movie and I really like that and a lot of people might not like that but I liked it now when I talk about how there's a lot of homage to 80s and 90s horror movies um a lot of people might not like that but there is a lot of things that are really funny in this movie that like I said they don't put themselves out there to be funny they really take themselves seriously in it and basically the thing that I, I the thing I love about it is um as we all know Gabriel was actually in her head using her right so at the times when Gabriel is running away Way, like the scene when the cop pulls up to the house and she's like he's right behind you and then he shoots him and they start running because of the weird way of the body man they looked a little funny when he ran he looked, he looked like he looked stupid you know yeah, i don't know and it's funny and i like that and i think that that was really refreshing and different um the gore horror like i was mentioning when gore when i when it comes to gore horror i oh my god i can't get enough of that the the clip a lot of times they don't show everything in horror movies but in this in this particular movie when they were showing like the surgery for instance it was amazing and when they were showing the parasitic twin gabriel actually while they were watching like the experiment videos they they fully showed gabriel they didn't show us little halves and bits of him they gave us a full view of this little parasitic the guy and like it was amazing i really loved it and i thought it was at that point i was like oh shit oh shit like the twist in that and it was really good and i really liked that and then oh my lord the gore the gore i forgot to mention this in the damn non-spoiler the gore in this movie is insane like when i was watching freaking gabriel work I swear to y'all, I felt like I was watching The Punisher again. Like, if y'all haven't seen The Punisher on Netflix, go watch it. It is gory as shit, and I love it. But, man, watching this movie, it was in 
tense. It like that. Oh man, the freaking police station scene. I love it. Like as a slasher fan, I was just like, oh man. And as again, as a slasher fan, when Gabriel's up in the attic and he's fashioning his blade, whoo, whoo, mm, that shit, it was it was a beauty. I, I look at Gabriel and I go, you're now a slasher. You are 100, you're a slasher, my, my, my motherfucking friend. You are a slasher. And I, I just, this movie completely blew my mind. And, and I might like hype about this movie a little more than a lot of other people, but this movie is really good. If you are a slasher fan, you will like this movie. You will look at it and you'll go, yeah, uh -huh, fuck yeah, let's get it. Now, of course, there is some cheesy elements to this movie. It is silly at times, and it is done on purpose. So that is the thing to keep in mind. They do take it seriously. It is not some stupid horror movie like The Babysitter. Although I did enjoy those two movies, I still think they're still stupid. But overall, I think this movie is a really good movie. Um, I'm not really sure on the movie ranking with like A minus, C minus, and all that stuff. But with my ranking, I would give it out of a 1 to 10 for scariness. I would say I would give it a, like, a, a nice little 3 or 4. It's not too scary. For action, I would give it a 7. For gore, I would give it a nice, uh, a nice 6 or 7. It's pretty gory. For intenseness, I would give it a 7. Um, for so oh soundtrack, that is one thing I gotta mention. Soundtrack, I'm giving it a ten. Soundtrack is freaking amazing. The soundtrack in this movie is insane. Like, I loved it. I want to buy vi it on vinyl. I, I need the Malignant soundtrack on vinyl. It it is a really good soundtrack. Overall, I give this horror movie a eight out of ten. I think it is really awesome. The insidious Easter egg is really really cool. But anyways, overall again, movie eight out of ten. I really think it was an enjoyable movie. This is my first movie review. I will get a little more in depth on movie reviews and stuff. This again, this is my first movie review I'm doing. I also got my first kill count video coming out. We're gonna be reviewing Halloween as kickoff October. So that's gonna be coming out on October first and. Then we're going to be reviewing all four Scream films, so make sure you guys check those out. We're going to be doing all kill counts on all those movies. So yeah, again, I hope you guys have been enjoying the uh, content on the channel recently. If you guys aren't subscribed to the channel or you are new, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Also, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram, like this video, and follow me on Twitter. I really appreciate that. Every subscription and follow helps me on a ton. If we can get to 1,000 followers by the end of October, that would be insane, guys. Again, it would help out a ton. I can keep making awesome horror content like just like this. We we also got another slasher flick video coming out later, to later today, this evening. So make sure you guys check it out. We got some updates surrounding Halloween kills. And we also got an update surrounding the Orphan prequel. It has been a while. So make sure you guys check that out. But with all that being said, make sure you guys douse a bucket of blood over your head. Just like Carrie. And stay bloody. Till next time. Peace.